Hello guys, welcome to the movie recap review. Happy watching. A young woman's unidentified body is discovered partially buried in the basement of a house where a gruesome and perplexing crime had taken place. Upon investigation, one of the police officers deduces that there are no indications of forced entry, suggesting that the victims were attempting to flee the premises instead. In a small town, coroner Tommy Tilden and his son Austin are wrapping up an autopsy on a charred body. Austin's girlfriend, Emma, pays them an unexpected visit and becomes intrigued by the bodies in the morgue. Tommy explains the history behind a bell attached to a body's ankle, used in the past to detect signs of life in comatose individuals. Sheriff Burke arrives with a mysterious body, urgently needing the cause of death by morning. Despite having plans to go to the theater with Emma, Austin decides to assist his father instead. He promises to join Emma later at the theater after completing the autopsy. Given the unidentified nature of the body and the absence of fingerprints in police records, they dub her Jane Doe. Austin and Tommy commence the autopsy, beginning with an external assessment of the corpse, which bears no evident signs of trauma, scars, or markings. They make a puzzling observation. The eyes display cloudiness typically associated with corpses several days old, yet the body appears remarkably fresh. Further examination reveals shattered wrist and ankle bones devoid of external injury indicators along with the non-surgical severance of the tongue. As they delve into the internal examination, the radio they're tuned into begins to inexplicably switch channels. Tommy proceeds to make an incision in her chest, only to be met with a startling sight. The corpse bleeds profusely, a phenomenon typically associated with freshly deceased bodies. Tommy attributes the unusually small waist to the historical practice of wearing corsets. Meanwhile, Austin makes a perplexing discovery. The blood he stored in the freezer from the body has inexplicably begun to leak. Further investigation uncovers severely blackened lungs, indicative of third-degree burns. Additionally, examination of her internal organs reveals numerous cuts and scar tissue, suggesting a history of repeated stabbing. Austin, startled by a noise outside the examination room, glimpses a figure standing in the mirror. Upon turning around, he finds nothing. Investigating further, he locates the source of the sound in an air shaft, where he discovers their cat, Stanley, grievously injured and bleeding. With a heavy heart, Tommy euthanizes Stanley and cremates him. Meanwhile, in the examination room, they uncover Jimson weed in Jane Doe's stomach, a paralyzing substance typically found only in the northern regions. As news of an approaching storm reaches them over the radio, Austin expresses a desire to depart, but Tommy resolves to see their task through, a sentiment to which Austin agrees. Later on, Tommy makes a grim discovery. A woman's missing tooth nestled within a piece of cloth found in her stomach. Upon closer inspection, they uncover Roman numerals, letters, and a cryptic drawing etched onto the fabric. As Tommy bravely peels off the skin on her chest, they're startled to find matching symbols etched into her flesh. Suddenly, all the lights in the room shatter into darkness. Amidst the chaos, they realize the storage chambers are empty, the corpses within vanished. Determined to leave, they encounter obstacles, a malfunctioning elevator, and a blocked exit door. Attempting to summon help, Tommy reaches for the landline only to be met with a disrupted connection. Their senses heightened, they detect the eerie toll of a bell echoing down the hallway, indicating the stirring of the once lifeless bodies. Tension mounts as the office door begins to violently rattle, then abruptly falls silent. Austin claims that every event is triggered by an enigmatic entity. Tommy finds himself ambushed by an unseen assailant while in the bathroom, leaving him with bruises, though he only catches a glimpse of their gray eyes. They opt to incinerate Jane Doe's remains in the cremation furnace, but they become trapped in the autopsy room when the door locks autonomously. Austin breaks through with an axe, revealing a reanimated corpse on the other side. Choosing to burn her in the examination room instead, they inadvertently start a rampant fire that destroys the autopsy recording camera. Despite extinguishing the flames, the body remains unscathed. 
As they hurry to the elevator, it malfunctions, leaving the door partially ajar. In the ensuing panic, Tommy mistakenly attacks Emma with an axe, causing her demise, which deeply affects Austin and burdens Tommy with remorse. Austin asserts that the cadaver has been obstructing their quest for truth, prompting them to re-enter the examination room. Smoke billows from the cremation furnace, obscuring their vision, and Tommy is viciously assaulted within the haze. Despite the ordeal, they manage to reach the examination room, where Austin proceeds to open the skull of the cadaver. Astonishingly, they discover active brain tissue cells, confounding both of them. Tommy deduces that an inexplicable force is preserving her life. Upon examining a folded piece of cloth, Austin uncovers a passage from the Bible, with Roman numerals indicating 1693. Tommy locates the corresponding verse, Leviticus 2027, condemning witches. Austin theorizes that the cadaver must be a witch who perished during the Salem trials, aligning with the evidence. Tommy rebuffs this notion, asserting that the accused women were innocent victims of mass hysteria and that her injuries do not match those inflicted during the trials. He proposes that the torment inflicted upon her may have turned her into a witch seeking vengeance. Tommy selflessly sacrifices himself to the witch in hopes of safeguarding Austin. As the witch's body begins to mend, Tommy endures the same agonizing injuries she suffered. In a heart-wrenching decision, Austin is compelled to end his father's suffering. Suddenly, the lights and radio flicker back to life. Hearing the sheriff's voice outside, Austin rushes upstairs, only to realize it's another hallucination. Startled by the apparition of his deceased father, Austin stumbles backward over the railing, succumbing to his injuries. The following morning, the police arrive on scene. The radio cheerily broadcasts the fourth consecutive day of sunshine, suggesting that the tumultuous events of the previous night were mere figments of Tommy and Austin's imagination, manipulated by the witch. A perplexed police officer observes no evidence of forced entry, adding another layer of mystery to the bewildering crime scene. The Jane Doe's body, devoid of any indications of an autopsy, is carefully transported to a neighboring county. As she is moved, a subtle twitch of her big toe marks her first movement, accompanied by the faint sound of a bell, leaving an eerie final impression. And that's the end of the story. I hope you liked it. Comment down below what movies do you like us to recap next. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.